Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and today I'm really, really happy because after two, maybe three years of a dry spell when hunting, uh, deer hunting that is, um, I finally got myself a deer, and I got it with my Mossberg MVP in 308. Um, this is the first time I ever tried hunting with this gun. I don't know why this is the first time I've ever tried it because I've had this gun for years and I've had the ammo that I've used, I've had that for years too, so I really don't know why I've neglected this gun and bringing it out hunting with me, but um, I brought it out for the first time this past weekend and I got me a deer. Now it was a small deer, you know, a little yearling, I guess, um, about that size, a little bitty doe. Um, so not a, a huge deer, not a big, you know, big buck with big rack on it or anything, but, um, you know, I'll take you know, small victories as I can get them. Um, in fact, most of my deer that I've ever shot, they've all been fairly small. It's just kind of been the luck of the draw there. But, you know, I'm happy. I got some some deer meat that I can feed myself, feed my family, get some deer sausage, deer jerky, deer steaks, deer chops. Um, I'm all about that deer meat. Um, you know, maybe if I decide it's not enough, I'll take my AR pistol out in, um, alternative method season and try to get another deer, but um, I just wanted to make this video to, for one, say that I got a deer and I'm very happy about it and I actually have a vlog, a very short vlog, um, because I got the deer, you know, I shot the deer pretty quickly, um, but I have a vlog on my other channel called Redneck Off the Range. If you want to check that channel out, I do um, hunting videos, I do uh, tool reviews, um, I've done couple of movie reviews and different vlogs, just all kinds of different videos. Basically, anything, well, most things that aren't gun related I put on that channel, and uh, most things that are gun related I typically put on this channel. And um, I also just wanted to point out that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to go deer hunting and be successful. Um, you know, a lot of people will say, you know, you need like the, the biggest and best gun and the, the biggest and best optic and the best performing ammo and you know all the best you know high quality gear um not really um i'm definitely on a budget and let me just tell you that this rifle right here when i bought it new i don't even remember how how long ago i bought this gun but probably at least five years ago is when i bought this gun and uh, when i bought it it was less than six hundred dollars um it came with the scope and, you know, this is just a basic no-name scope, probably from some company that Mossberg partnered with, and they can get scopes for, like, next to nothing to put on their rifles um, for a combo deal. Um, and it performed just fine. And, you know, I it wasn't a, a super long shot or anything. It was probably between 50 and 75 yards. It wasn't quite 100 yards. So, and, uh, you know, I shot it with it dialed in it. Five. You know, I haven't changed the, the power of the scope since I shot the deer. Um, so just a, a five power, um, you know, 75-ish yard shot. Um, so not a very expensive rifle, definitely not an expensive optic. Um, you don't have to spend three, four, five hundred dollars on a scope um, because this scope was probably worth like, I don't know, 50 bucks, give or take. Um, the ammo, I I used was definitely not high quality by any stretch of the imagination. It was this Perfecta 150 grain soft point. In fact, I still have I still have the remaining three rounds in the magazine. I, I put four rounds, you know, whatever was left in the box, just put it in the magazine. Um, only needed one. Um, took one shot and that deer went down, dropped like a rock. Um, you know, sometimes the deer will just go down, sometimes the deer will run 100 yards or so. Sometimes you gotta track the deer for a mile because the shot you took um, didn't hit its vitals uh, well enough, but uh, it was definitely a good shot. I mean, the deer just went down and um, didn't have to track it at all. I um, only had to do that, only had a shot like that one other time and that was with the 30-06. So the 308, 30-06, those are definitely good deer rounds. But anyway, this ammunition, um, this is like bottom of the barrel 
hunting ammunition. I mean, I bought this for $7 a box on clearance. I don't even know if you can get this stuff anymore um, because, you know, I've only ever seen it sold at Walmart and Walmart got rid of it many years ago and I just bought up what they had. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to point out is um, I used this Allen shooting stick uh, to steady my gun because last couple of years, well at least last year, I missed a couple of deer because um, I had to wait a while for the deer to be in a good spot to shoot it so that I didn't shoot anything, you know, miss or shoot anything beyond the deer that I didn't want to shoot, like the house um, or, or the truck or, you know, whatever might have been behind the deer. Um, so I'm, you know, sit there with the rifle up in my, my hands and by the time the deer finally gets there I'm just shaking so much and by the time I pull the trigger that you know it goes over or under or you know wherever and so I, I missed a couple of deer like that both with my 30 out 6 and my AR pistol so I decided to get one of these shooting sticks um, several companies make these and this is like the cheapest one you can find I want to say I paid $15 for this and it just you know it's telescopic so you can make it whatever length you want um, but Allen makes this one. I think there's like Primos makes one and you know some other people make them where it's like two sticks kind of like a like a bipod type um, that you just you know uh, they should be extendable as well um, but uh, it definitely helped and uh, I'll probably do a separate review on this shooting stick and again this is not an expensive shooting stick you don't have to spend forty dollars or whatever I saw some of those sticks for, you know, 40, 50 bucks for a stick. Just a telescopic stick with a V on top. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money for that. Um, I spent $15 on this and, you know, it might not even been 15, might have been like 10. I don't know. I bought it last year, but uh, it worked perfectly fine um, and I am definitely happy with the results. So, um, that was the 2021 deer season. Again, I have a vlog on my other channel if you want to see the deer that I shot. And um, I may go out again, maybe for alternative method season, maybe for antlerless season. Um, you know, something. If I decide that I want to get another deer, or if my brother-in-law decides he wants another deer but he can't go out and, and hunt himself, I can always go out and try to get one um, because there's a lot of deer activity out there this year more than I've seen in years, and uh, that makes me very happy. It makes for very good deer hunting. Um, but anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.